All right, folks, we're going to do this video on a quick diagnosis of the four-wheel drive system in a 1990 Chevy pickup. The reason I'm doing this, I didn't see much out there on the web about it. It's a very simple system, unlike the newer push-button style. So what we were doing the other day is plowing at Subway and got done went in to get a sandwich come back out and the indicator light for the four-wheel drive which is right there was not on anymore get my light on here for us all right so the first thing you want to check is your fuse that's located right up in here right by your left knee just above the hood release button there and it's marked four-wheel drive I don't know if you can see it or not but it's right in the middle there 25 amp fuse pull that out if it's blown there's a reason why that happened so what you want to do is not put a new fuse in right away because chances are it'll just blow so uh just from there if if the fuse is not blown and you still ain't getting four-wheel drive and you want to get underneath and I'll show you there's an actuator on your front axle I ain't as skinny as I used to be so bear with me here probably gonna be upside down and sideways and everything but right under here is the actuator that engages your front differential real simple just big nut there just the whole thing unscrews you just unplug it the gray plug there and what you can do is before you take it out just unplug that and then go up and put a new fuse in if your old one was blown and then engage your four-wheel drive and if the fuse doesn't blow then then your actuator is bad but just to double check after you've unplugged that there's just two wires make sure you got a good ground I just ground in my test light right here and then you just one of those leads on that plug will be hot so you should get a light if you don't have a light there then you got a problem back somewhere else but usually this is the problem the first one that went out on me it blew the fuse and as soon as I put a new fuse in it just blew again so I just I just came down here and changed it and that was the problem but this time it did not blow the fuse so I was kind of curious if it was still the same problem so I got down here and, and tested my wire and I did have power all the way to the plug here so I just went ahead and unscrewed that and it's just a plunger it just slides right out you just need a crescent wrench or you know it's a large fairly large wrench but I just used a crescent wrench and it unscrews pretty easy went to AutoZone got a new one it's 70 bucks you know they vary in price um, but that's it's lifetime guaranteed so if it goes bad you just take it out take it back get a new one that's what I like about the Duralast brand I do the same with my alternators because when you're plowing alternators burn up pretty fast and I just when it goes out I go down and get a new one no questions asked but yeah that's that's pretty much it um, I, I put a little bit of perma gasket on the threads there on that because oil does come out of there so there's no gasket that comes with it but I took the original one off and there was a they had like a thread lock or a gasket sealer on the thread so I just went ahead and I just used black permatex and went back up engaged four-wheel drive turned the key on light came on everything's good but yeah it's a pretty simple system basically here transfer case is back here and your lever from inside the cab 
is right up in there. The linkage comes back here, right up in there, and that just engages your transfer case. I think I got it disengaged now. Yes, so I can turn the drive shaft. Once it's engaged, you wouldn't be able to do that. So, you know, you can just engage that lever and come down here. If you can't move it, you know your thing's engaged, your transfer case. And, and I believe all it does is it sends a signal through a little, I think there's like that switch right up there. I believe that's what that does is once you engage that transfer case, that sends a signal up to that actuator it's called a thermi actuator on the differential there and then that plunges in and locks your front end and that's about it can't think of anything else pretty simple they should have left it that way but you know they got to make things harder so don't it's easier than changing your oil so don't spend a bunch of money taking it somewhere you can do it yourself and before we go, give you a little tour of the man cave here. You got your uh, stereo, microwave, toaster oven, flat screen TV for the football games. And I bet you can't guess where we live here. Um, and then uh, just a tour around. Got some signs, a little Paps Blue Ribbon. And if you got any of these old windows like this, they make cool door for a display case or you can just put pictures behind them and hang them on the wall and uh, there's our 90 Chevy 4x4 and uh, well as you can see it's almost five o'clock and you know what that means it's Miller time and I'm uh, just gonna show you that actuator since I already had the new one in it's right here so yeah it just little plunger that comes right out of there and that locks that front differential so hopefully this helps everybody that has had this problem or will have this problem someday and uh, have a nice day